Hey everyone, Cobra here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've actually gone back to a mobile game. So this video might be a little bit worse quality just because I can't quite get the same quality on my phone as I get on my PC. So here we're on uh, Mecha Domination and I'm going to be showing you a few tips uh, with the treasure map functions. So if you click on the treasure map, you'll see it right up here at like your beast cage area. You'll see there'll be different treasures that pop up. Currently, I only have three left. I've completed the rest. Um, but depending on your headquarters level, you'll have a certain amount that you're able to do per day. So if you look at the bottom left where I have the two stars here, click on it, you can see at my current level, which I'm level 16 headquarters, I get five per day. Once I hit 19, it goes up to the next one where I get an extra one per day. So you want to keep an eye on that just so you can get extra rewards. Now for them, you have different rarities. You've got blue, you've got purple, you've got red. And I'm assuming gold, although I've never actually seen one. And they'll have different requirements. So the red ones typically are going to require two orange and high level creatures to complete them. But you'll see, look at the rewards down here below. You get this, which has the chance to give you quite a few things. You get this, which has the chance to give you some of these and a bunch of other rewards. In addition to that, you know, these ones give you a little bit less and these ones give you even less. Now, first tip here, when you first start, look at, so red is the best and purple is typically the next best that I've seen. Blue is the lowest. So what I do is I look at it and go, okay, so like if I was starting now, I would do the red one, get that done, do the purple one, get that done, and anything that's left that's blue, I would then refresh because what that's going to do is it's going to take only the ones that you haven't started. It's going to refresh them for the chance to get better ones. So this current one I've gotten out of my five, I got three purples, one red, and then one blue, just because I didn't want to waste a refresh on just the last one. So you can, you can do that. It will keep the ones that you were already working on as is. So you don't have to worry about that. Now the other thing, there's two things on the left hand side. There's assist, where it's, you can see you get five a day, and raid, where you get three a day. Raid, if you go to the map, you can find little spots from other people that'll say raid, and you can get rewards from raiding them. It's not actually skill based. If you find it, you can get it. Um, I really only seen mainly blues and a few purples. I'm assuming you can get higher level ones, but that's what I've seen so far. So you want to look for the best ones possible, just kind of scan the map for that. But the assist one, you can see if I click on it here, I can assist people and get these purple or blue rewards. But then there's others where there's timers next to them. So you can see here, there's a bunch of these orange ones, which are going to be better than blue and better than purple. But they have timers next to them. When I first started, I just went, okay, assist, 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 and just went down the line and used my five up. Well, what I've learned now is, if you wait this timer, you're going to get these higher tier ones. You even have the chance of getting red ones. Yep, right here, tier red. And you can get the best rewards from assisting for that. So you want to keep an eye out. So you can see there's timers, you know, orange ones, purple ones, red ones. So to get the best rewards, you want to keep an eye on those timers. Don't just waste it right away because the stuff you're gonna get from this is significantly better than the stuff you're going to get from this. You've got a much higher chance of getting good things from the other ones, so keep an eye on those and make sure you're looking at those timers. That way you don't waste your chances because you only get five per day. So hope these few tips help. Um, it's not actually anything crazy, just a little tips here that'll take your game up from getting basic rewards to getting a little bit better rewards. Uh, please give a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. If there's anything specific you want to see on this game, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to work on that for you. Thanks.